Hi team, here's a quick update of what we accomplished on Wednesday. Uh, starting with this panel over here to my left, you can see that uh, the brick has been painted now to match the remaining panels of the brick. You will still notice if you compare this brick to like some of these other panels, it still has a slightly yellow cast. That's not the brick, that's the grout. Um, obviously we still have to paint the grout in the uh, and darken it down a bit but the brick itself has been uh, touched up. You can see that the brick now has the uh, chocolate pudding and amaretto tones that match the uh, chocolate pudding and amaretto tones of the remaining panels. Um, the second thing we did, you probably noticed this pretty soon, is we painted the uh, darker gray tone over the coins. Those came out really nice. Um, so far we've got all the coins painted now for the entire set, so all the panels are complete. One remaining item, however, is the bottom. So you'll notice that uh, that panel there, we have to complete the rest of the brick line and then the trim at the bottom with graystone and then the top coat. And then of course the trim at the bottom of the panel going up uh, over the arch here and that's the case for both of these panels in addition to coming around to the porch you can see that the coins were painted however the uh, gray trim the stone trim at the top and the bottom still needs to be painted as well and that will complete the uh, porch in addition to this thrust right here if you're looking for the paint the custom mix is in this can. This can has the Knight's Armor uh, custom mix with water and glaze already mixed into it so it's ready to just stir and then use straight out of the can. Please check out the YouTube tutorial that I made for painting coins. I'll send you that link also once I get those loaded. And the most important thing to remember is you will be using this foam roller to do the trim. Do not use the smaller uh, tech three inch textured roller. We use this four inch foam roller, so we want everything to be consistent there. That's it, and I will see you. Oh, one last thing. We did get the second coat of the sky base coated for the heroes panels. Scott will be in uh, Thursday morning to move these around and get these ready uh, to go up on the scenery wall, uh, probably by Saturday just so that they're there. Um, as we know, we'll be installing flappers next Wednesday and Thursday. If you have any questions, uh, shoot me a text or hit me up with a reply, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you, everyone.